Hi and welcome to my channel. So today we are continuing our series. So we want to create today uh, the uh, car AI uh, chasing system. So they're gonna be a basic one. So they're gonna be the beginning and later we want to advance this a little more. So before I start the tutorial, I want to say thank you to everybody that support me. And if you want to support me, you can go to my Patreon page. Depending on your subscription, you're gonna have exclusive videos, access to the video before they are published, and access to my um, project file from this tutorial. And also you can have early access to my personal game and project, and I can help you in your personal project. I attempt to fix bugs, anything like that. And also I can create for you animation, blueprint, a, um, complete maps, things like that, or I, I can create a game from scratch if you want for you, a full game. And uh, if you want to see all the videos already uh, available for the uh, Patreon members, you only have to go to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my channel, and click in the um, top right corner here. They're gonna give you a list with all the new videos I, I added today, and also all the Ecosy videos, all the unpublished tutorial videos and also all the unpublished complete game video i'm gonna update this list almost every day so if you want to talk with me directly you can go to my discord channel so if you need help in your project or maybe you need uh, help for the tutorial or something's not working for you you can write me from there because for me it's more easy to respond from the discord than from the youtube channel so if you want to send me your games or project so I can play them in the channel for free or if you want to have the latest news about my game and project or you want to talk with me privately or sponsorship all you have to do is write me to my email my email and my link from the discord and patreon they're gonna be in the description of this video and also all the 100% of the money raised from youtube patreon and sponsorship it will be for the creation of video game and for the YouTube channel. So thank you and let's start the tutorial. So open to Unreal. Uh, we have this already so if we come, go play we can see the car uh, um, AI that's looking for the path to go, it is looking for the best road for go and uh, even driving from that road. But they don't chase Oh, almost <laughs> so but they don't chase us yet so if you want to somebody and chasing you they're gonna be this the passive one so let's do that so let's go this and also let me delete this because sometimes this is in the middle so it's gonna be like that and also we can duplicate this for have more space so for whatever we need space so let's do like that for example or better so in this one let's duplicate this to 10 10 probably 10 whatever so they're gonna be more space okay so we have that so let's do the chair system but first i want to fix this because they bugged me a lot the, when i enter the car the player is still there so i don't want to be the player there so let's fix that really 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 fast so first we need to go to the uh, player blueprint so character uh, and, the, and the main one no we need to choose the player we want in the game not the main one just the game so they want to be from the game from they want to be the child so let's open this and we can delete this because we don't need it and here we want to call unpossessed so every time the, this actor is unpossessed, so we possess another player or another car. I want to the capsule component. They don't have um, how they call it uh, collisions, so I don't want to have collisions. So let's do it like that. So set a collision, enable. I'm gonna set here to no collision. That's perfect. So we can put this here. Let's do that we need room here so and also i want when i'm possessed i have my mess also my feet like that also my legs <laughs> also my arms and my torso oops arms go okay so arms are gonna be down here okay so 
mess v5 yes so i want to set this visible to not visible so it's gonna be hiding from the game so nobody can see that that's gonna be for now because later we want to put this guy inside the car but right now just disappear from the <laughs> for the place and also we want to call this again but this time when they possess so there's possess so every time this player is possessed, so we am playing with this guy, I want to set the again this collision or the capsule. But this time, this time I want to be um, half collision. If you don't know what of this it is, you only have to check um, capsule component, go all the way down where they said collision preset. You can open this. You wanna say here collision enable let say query and physic. So let's do the same. So query and physic like that. And also set visibility. But this time they're gonna be true. So let's connect this to this, this to this, this here, this, this, and this, this. That's it. So let's compile and save. So now if I go play, yeah, I enter the vehicle. Now the player is gone. But it's really in there, but you can see it and also you can hit nothing. So that's for now. Later, I, like I said, I want to put it inside the car. So that is the first part of this tutorial. So let's do the chase system. So for doing the uh, chasing, we need to, uh, we can close this. So we need to go to the car we want to chase. So let's go to uh, GTA vehicle because we have both the um, AI and the normal car in the same blueprint so we have all this stuff this is a little mess right now so let's separate this a little bit so let's take all this because this is already made for us so let's put C and let's set made now let's set unreal so we know they do it real so this is what we made it so let's put this other way like that maybe we need a little space here because we're gonna need it so let's that wanna be okay so okay so for doing that i want to like i said they wanna be the basic for the beginning stuff or anything like that so we need to change this a little bit because like i said the ventic is only for now later we want to change this so in here we want to create another variable so let's we can duplicate this because we want to be also an instant editor so let's duplicate and let's call this chase ai for example you can call it like you like it just for for now so let's separate this a little more. we can separate only this so let's disconnect this and put this and here so let's get let's make a branch so also this do it like that and like that so now we have the chase yay okay so if it's not checking if it's not uh, chasing the uh, AI working I want to be doing this because we want to uh, make that road for from it we made in the last video so let's do it like that so if it's true i want to uh, change the player so we're gonna need another function so let's create another one so let's go to function let's go to add and let's call this uh, similar but it's gonna be chasing for example you can call it like you like it gonna be chasing and also we can um, open the other one staring if we can copy this because they're gonna be almost the same also this one so i don't know if i can copy this so let's try it so then we need all this so let's copy and paste it in here uh, yeah perfect so we have almost everything we need so that's perfect so now we need um for fine look and rotation so we we want to look where we want to ro rotate so we need the star the star they're gonna be this player um, this actor location so let's go get actor location location 
get out to location and connect this to here. So now, let me think about this. Um, okay, so we need to reduce where the player is. So let's go to get the player first. So let's get player character for that. So here, get location, get player, no, the player, get actor location location and this one gonna be the target but I want to they they don't um, I don't want to they follow all the time um, the character so I I want to be only if we are close enough if we are go too far away I want to they stop and uh, following us so from doing that there's from the actual location I want to reduce so subtract, yes, subtract another location. So it's going to be the actual location. And we want to promote this because we, we want to be this um, afloat. So from here, let's get length, vector length. And we can promote this to a variable. So let's promote to a variable. And let's call this. Um, actor distance or you can call it like you like it or something like that and we can connect this with this the only problem with this that we want this actor distance if you go compile they're gonna be from one to zero i want to convert this to be uh, numbers with let's say like this one for using the vector location so for doing that the easier way is just go here and divide this for 100 so now we have that for doing not from 0 for 1 they're gonna be from 1 to 0 to 100 so like that okay so now I want so if the act of distance is greater greater to let's say I don't know 1000 probably so that means this number is how far the actor they're gonna be. So if it, this actor, this applies character location is more than 100 from this one, I want to stop doing this. So let's do a branch and connect this to here. Uh, if it's false, I want to still doing this. If it's false, I want to says no. Ah, it's okay. So set chase AI to false. So they stop doing this like that. So let's compile and save. And let's go to, let's close this one, go to event graph. And here put our function. So they went chasing. If it's true, they're gonna be true. And also we want to do it this again. So let's do it like that like that it is like that so let's compile and save so now let's check that so we can delete this guy because probably i don't want to what oh yeah because we can display okay so this one they want to be for the police car so now we can delete this guy and uh, we can leave this yeah so now if we check our cars <coughs> Sorry, um, we have this in default. We can check, so we can check. It's a big old AI, yes. And also, I want to be chasing this. That, like I said before, this is gonna be the basic one because later we want to activate this. Depend on if he, he hits something or he passes a red light or something like that. But if he don't, uh, we don't want to be chasing. But for now, it's just for testing purposes. Let's do it from here. So let's say yes. So this car, the police car, they're gonna follow us. This is gonna be a normal car. This, this the right, parking radar, the park over there. So let's go play. So now we have a player, and you can see they driving. It they try to follow us. They go too fast, so let's go a little less. So let's go to um, vehicle and let's change this uh, speed in here. Let's put this to 
0 0.3 for example they don't want to be too fast so they go play so let's move a little bit so this they is ch chasing us supposed to I'm walking too slow so it's difficult to see so let's make this use for testing so let's go to character uh, DP character blueprint let's go to the bank graph just for testing like I said gonna be here gonna be set face um, face gamepad face button right for now let's get character movement set max walk speed to I don't know 1000 <laughs> so let's do for just for checking if it's working the following that is only one so let's go play so now if they run so let's see if they follow us so let's go to here so let's try to he tried to follow us so they chasing us right now yeah the bad they fall <laughs> because probably they go too slow but now they's working so now they's following us try to chasing there we go you have it right there so now it's for us so we can change and he fall and die so that's perfect so now let's see if they stop when they go too far so let's go chasing and here they put something more small like probably 100 to see if they stop chasing us so let's compare and save and also let's print a note here to see if it's working so print sprint let's say not chasing for example, for example you can use for testing so compound save so let's check it so right now it's following us so let's go really really far like that ah they don't print it but they stop following us no they following us probably and they fall and die <laughs> so that's it so to making this working better because i think they have a little problem here so let's go to chasing and let's change this guy to another one let's put she get pound i don't write in so get pound because we are looking for the player spawn really not the character by himself so let's check this now so let's go all the way down and they don't fire the, the other one so we need to fix that but at least it's working to chasing us they try to follow us it's too slow <laughs> but they try to follow us so that wanna be the basic for the <laughs> for the chasing so for the next video I want to fix this because I think it's not working so I need to know why it's not working I need to figure it out later so we need to check this out and also we want to uh, make this better so right now just for testing so now you know how to make this guy to uh, follow you so thank you for watching and uh, let's see you in the next video so bye bye